Hello, this is uh, Linux Unix Tech Channel, Data Pioneer. And today we're going to go out on distrowatch.com. We're going to take a look at a distro that I've been wanting to look at. It's called Deepin uh, Linux, uh, Deepin 15.11. And here it is. Uh, I'm bringing it up now. It's a Linux distribution, distribution based on Debian. Origin is in China. And this architecture is x86-64. It used to be 32-bit, but they removed it. Uh, they developed their own deep and desktop environment, and uh, it is a desktop uh, operating system. Um, and it's formerly um, deep in Linux, uh, but it is, uh, as I said, based on Ubuntu and Debian, but primarily Debian. Uh, so we'll take a look at it. It's very popular. Uh, it appears on uh, DistroWatch. And so let's go down here to the home page, and it is uh, deepin.org, and let's go out to it, click on that. And if I go out to uh, deepin.org, it is a Chinese website, but it's already been translated into English for me because uh, I visited it previously, got cached into my browser. Let's go ahead and click on the download link here for Deepin uh, 1511. And that takes us out here to the download site. I'm going to go ahead and click on the download link and, um, and take a look at that. All right, so if I click on that, here we go, 15.11, deepen 15.11 AMD64. Uh, and there's the hash for the um, SHA-256 checksum. We'll take a look at that later. All right, so I'm going to click on that and let it go ahead and start its download process. Uh, and this uh, seems to be a little slow, but I am actually grabbing this CD image here um, from um, the Chinese website. All right, so here it is, and it's it's going to take a while. So at some point, I'll probably pause the video, and uh, and then we'll get into installing it in VirtualBox 6.0 Manager. Um, they're going to have you sit here while I download the whole thing. Okay, now that the download process is completed, I wanted to show you uh, moving this file like I normally do. So let me go to Show All, click on Show in Folder. And uh, and so there's the Deepin 1511 AMD file. I'm going to go ahead and select Cut and go out to my F drive to the ISOs folder and then uh, right click and paste and move with Terracopy and move the file that I just downloaded from the Chinese website um, to um, my ISO folder on the F drive where I launch the uh, virtual machines from. Uh, the reason I moved it here and the reason I'm doing this at all is to show you how the checksum process works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a checksum against this file before I actually install it in a virtual machine. And I'm a little leery because this is a Chinese website that I downloaded it from. Uh, so I want to make sure there's, you know, that the file I get is the file I'm supposed to get. And so once this is completed, um, I'll run a checksum against the file and verify it against the uh, the website itself. Almost done. It's a pretty large file. It's about 2.3 gigabytes in size. Pretty hefty file uh, for an ISO of uh, a Linux distro these days. All right, so it's just about ready to wrap it up and it is done. Okay, so to run a checksum here, I'm going to right click. And come down and select CRC SHA-256, and let that create a hash on the uh, an SHA-256 bit hash against that file, so we can actually get a uh, checksum fingerprint of the file. And then when we get that, we'll in investigate it. We'll look at the last five or six digits of that file. Um, if there is a problem with the file, um, those digits will be totally different from what we see on the checksum reported by the website. Um, it's not going to deviate slightly. It's going to be, you know, way off. And so if it matches like four, the last four or five, then we should be good. All right, so this process does take a few seconds to run, but it's a good idea to always run a checksum on your files, regardless of where you get them from. Uh, because you know they can be intervened on the web, and somebody can introduce things into them. And if they do, it'll be found here in the checksum process. All right. So now that's completed, let's take a look. And so the last 
five digits here, five, three, F, zero, F, seven. All right, so let's go back out to the website and bring that up. And let's look at the SHA-256 checksum here. If I bring that up uh, on the screen uh, after I download it, let's go ahead and open the file. And uh, go in folder, let's open the file and see what we have. Well, let's open it with um, probably Notepad. Good work. Find Notepad here. Scroll down. All right, there's Notepad. Click OK. And so we see that the last five digits is 53F0F7. Matches perfectly with the previous. And so we know we've got a good file. So we can go ahead and we can set that file up in VirtualBox. And so I'll go ahead and do that. I've got it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up in VirtualBox. I'm going to click Machine and New, and I'm going to type in the name of this. is going to be Deepin15.11. Uh, uh, underscore x64, uh, I believe. And then I'm going to come down. It's based on Linux. I'm going to choose Linux, and uh, it's Debian 64 bits, what it's based on. So I'll select that. I'm going to give this uh, 4,096 megabytes, 4096 megabytes, which is four gigs. Give this 50 gigs of hard drive space, as I usually do uh, for typical VM, and then create. All right, then I'm going to go up to the settings, click on settings, come down to system. Select that, untick the floppy, select hard disk, and move it up in the boot order. Uh, hit display and give it 128 megs of uh, video memory. And then come down and select VBox VGA controller, graphics controller. Under storage, I'm going to select empty and uh, the uh, virtual CD ROM. Go out and select the uh, Deepin 1511 ISO that I downloaded. From the Chinese website and click audio. Um, that looks good. Click network, select away from NAT to bridged adapter, and then USB. Um, when I select, select that, I'm going to select 3.0, click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. And we'll um, go ahead and fire it up and get to the installer. So let's uh, click view, full screen mode, install, deepen. And uh, bring that up. I'm uh, looking forward to see what Deepin uh, has to offer here. Um, I've heard a lot about it, heard some good things. So we'll get into that and as soon as we get this installed. And we'll take a look at Deepin 1511. All right, so here we are um, at the installer. I'm going to click. Uh, English, that is Chinese. Continue. Friendly reminder says that I shouldn't be installing it in a virtual machine, but I'm going to go ahead and ignore that and continue on anyway. Uh, I always do that, so I'm going to click Continue. Set up a user account. I'm going to select my us usual, which is Data Pioneer. Change the name of the PC to uh, Deepin 15.11-VM. Uh, Password's going to be whatever I usually give it and uh, confirm it. I'm going to click Next. Uh, it's showing that I'm in New York time zone. That's good. Click Next. And then here, uh, I'm going to just do a simple installation. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Uh, I'm not sure if I have to click that or not. Um, so let me uh, click Start. And it, yes, yeah, asking me to select that. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. That's the 50 gig uh, VDI space, and then click Next. All right, so the following operations will be executed, and we can't go back. I understand that, so I'm going to click Continue here and uh, continue on. All right, and so we're, we've started the installation process. Uh, I'm going to let this run because uh, it talks about, shows you what's available. Deepin File Manager, we've got the Deepin Store. At some point, I will stop the video. Um, because it uh, when it repeats. All right, we got the Deepin movie. Um, so it's got a few things here in uh, Deepin that uh, a lot of other distros don't.
and don't show you out of the box. Deepen Image Viewer is available. Um, Deepen Screenshot is available here. But as I said, Deepen has its uh, own Deepen desktop environment. So hit the Deepen Music. And we're at 7% right now in the install process. Uh, Deepen Terminal uh, is available as well. Uh, here we've got the Deepen Cloud Scan and the Deepen Cloud Print. We've got uh, printing and uh, scanning from the cloud. Deepen Utilities. Uh, so we'll take a look at that when we get in take, and uh, take a, a closer look at it. Uh, Deepen Community here. So we've got a big community of uh, support for Deepen. looks like around the world, even in Australia. All right, we've got Deepen Doc. So it's got a Docker. And we're at 11% right now on the install. Uh, it has a control center or super easy system settings, it says. Uh, Deepen kernel. It's got its own internal and external stability oriented kernel. And uh, we'll take a look at that. We'll do a U name on it. System ed and animation is available. And um, and so we've got uh, Office is also available here. And Skype is even available, which is nice. Skype is available. Spotify for music. I, I like Spotify. I've got a Spotify account, so that's good. I'll take a look at that when we get in. And then Deepen Screen Recorder. It's got its own screen recorder called Deepen Screen Recorder. Improved security, safe and stable, rock solid. We'll take a look at that as well. We're at about 16% right now in the install process. Wallpaper slideshow. Um, we'll check that out, see what's available here. We'll take a look at what's default. Multi architecture compatibility. I like that. Innovative technology um, from Lung Sun. Auto merge keeps items neat and organized. Files on the desktop will be grouped into different folders. Good. All right, we're back to the Deepen File Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video, and I'll come back when the install is completed. Okay, the installation is completed, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot this thing up again and get into Deepen 1511 Linux. Let's hit the Enter key on the keyboard and bring that up and uh, see what we have here. All right, so it does take a few seconds. Hopefully, it'll come up to 1920 by 1080 high screen, uh, high widescreen uh, resolution here. Using VBox uh, VGA. And then we'll see what we have. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into Deepen 15.11. All right, so here's the login screen. Let me go ahead and log in. All right. And uh, here we go. This is the um, the desktop. Uh, very nice desktop. I like the uh, hummingbird here. Very crisp color combinations. Beautiful uh, background. Uh, I like it. This is. I'm going to keep this for a while. Looks like we have a Docker down here uh, in uh, Deepin 1511. This is a Chinese distribution. It has its own. Uh, deep in desktop in, uh, environment, by the way, and so we're going to see changes here from their normal distribution of Linux. It is based on Debian, however. And so let's take a look at what we have here in the launcher. If I click that, we have the Chrome, uh, Google Chrome web browser, the WPS suite here of Office Suite, which is nice. We have the file manager. Let me go ahead and click that. And so this is the file manager. Let me double click the uh, Pictures folder, and so we have a few pictures in here by default. Uh, not bad. This is the one that we currently have as a background. Um, if 
but uh, very nice. Um, double click on this picture. It brings up a, a picture viewer. And uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Probably Gwenview. All right. And so let's close that. Go ahead and close this. Get back into the launcher again. So we have the App Store. And let's take a look at the App Store. And uh, we'll take a look at the App Store a little more on the Docker when we get to it. But this is the App Store here. Uh, look at all these categories we got over here, guys. Very nice. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and close that, move on, and the launcher. So for the launcher here, the rest of what we have, we have music, movie, screenshot, image viewer. Image viewer may be what we were looking at uh, earlier. Document viewer, editor, Thunderbird mail, terminal, uh, screen recorder, voice recorder, manual, user feedback. Cloud print, remote scanner, and simple scan. Computer, show desktop, trash can, control center. We have it down here too, so we'll look at it there. System monitor, print settings, and calendar. All right, so this is the, um, the launcher. All right, so let's get down here to the file manager and take a look at that. So the file manager we looked at, I think, briefly. We looked at the pictures folder. Um, close that. Now let's get into the app store. All right, the App Store has a lot to offer, so we're going to be here for a little while looking at this. This is nice because you've got new updates, uh, essential apps, recommendations, uh, hot topics, et cetera, et cetera. And then you've got some rankings over here um, that you can take a look at for the updates. And it's ranked from number one all the way down to the top. In other words, the top 15 applications that are available here. All right, so you've got a rankings view, so you can took look at the rankings themselves. Here we've got internet, and what's available here is just a remarkable Thunder Speed, Firefox, uh, Quantum uh, web browser. So Chrome comes by default, but you can install Firefox uh, from here. Team Viewer, uh, Opera, FileZilla, which is the FTP client, uh, Foxmail, Qubit Torrent, Torrent Client. Uh, Adobe Flash Player, uh, Deluge, uh, Vivaldi, Mailspring, uh, you name it. You got a bunch of stuff here on cloud, VNC server. Um, take a look at this, guys. Claws Mail, Transmission, Dropbox. Um, what else we got here? Um, Next Cloud, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so a lot of stuff here. Chat, WeChat. Web WeChat, uh, Telegram, Skype. I'm a, I'm a Skyper. I'm also IRC chat person. Um, so this has got a lot of stuff to offer for me, and if you are as well, Pigeon, um, XChat, as I mentioned, I think, Kadu, HipChat, and My Talk. Under Music, we have uh, Spotify, Deep in Music. Deepin Desktop here, Deepin Music Audacity, Deepin Voice Recorder, Clementine, uh, Audacious, Rhythmbox, Amarac, uh, Arger, you name it. I mean, you got a bunch of stuff here too, guys. Uh, unbelievable. Check this out. Uh, Quadlabet. I use Quadlabet. It's kind of like iTunes for Linux. I use that for my music manager in other Linux distros. So I'm looking forward to getting into that here. Under video category, we've got VLC Media Player, Deepin Screen Recorder, OpenShot, Deepin Movie, MPV, Cheese, Open Broadcast Software, OBS is what I'm using to record this, by the way. Voco Screen, which should make a bunch of people happy. Handbrake, I use all the time for transcoding my videos. Simple Screen Recorder. Um, what else? Kazam, I've not used. Nuke. Uh, Peak, okay, Totem, Record My Desktop is available here. Um, what else? Okay, that looks like uh, the rest of these I don't really know that well. Under Graphics, we have GIMP, Deep and Screenshot, we've got Inkscape, Frida, uh, My Paint, um, what else? I have GNOME, Shutter, Dotwell. Gwynview. Um, wow, you got a bunch of stuff here. Digicam. 
open SCAD. Uh, very good. Under games, if you're a gamer, I'm not going to get into this in depth, but take a look at what you got here, guys. I mean, if you're a gamer, you can spend all day long here. Chess, everything you can think of. Under Office, you've got LibreOffice if you want it. Comes out of the box with WPS Office, which I really like. Um, Deepen Editor, you've got uh, Typora, you've got Command Markdown, uh, you've got GeoGebra, I use that in other Linux distros, love it. Uh, I used that when I was doing statistical analysis. Uh, Web Google Docs, Focus Writer, Deepen Cloud Scan, unbelievable the amount of stuff you got here, my friends. Uh, looking forward to getting into this in much more detail. Uh, Abby Word, We've got Web Mind up, Mind Mup. Um, wow. Yep, you've got a lot of things to select here from. Okay, select from here. Reading. Uh, you've got the Foxit Reader, which is a uh, add-in in Firefox a reader. Uh, we've got uh, Ocular. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mendeley. I use Mendeley. I've got an account in Mendeley. Got all my uh, my uh, writing up on Mendeley for uh, my uh, my not uh, creative writing, but my uh, scholarly writing is up there. So Tarot, okay, is available as well. Life R E A or Life Rea, which is an R S S uh, news aggregator, is available here as well. I don't see Calibri. Though. Yeah, Calibri. There's Calibri. Unbelievable or Caliber. I think the developer calls it caliber um, development. You've got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Visual Studio Code, Atom, MySQL, PyCharm. I'm a Python programmer. So PyCharm Professional is here, uh, which is an IDE for Python. Wirefark is here. Eclipse IDE. Uh, Qt Creator. I'm getting into Qt 5, actually. Buddy, Sublime Text. I've got a Sublime Text editor and other. Linux distros that I use. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, Genie is available. Um, Spider, Codelight, Bluefish. Wow, look at all of this that we have here. This is unbelievable. Um, R Studio, IPE, Kate, Git Cola. I've never used Git Cola, but I've seen it. System, we have. Deepen Graphics, Deepen Repair, VMware Workstation, Synaptic Package Manager, BleachBit, um, Deepen Boot Maker. Uh, what else? We've got Nautilus, WinRAR, 7-Zip. This is unbelievable. Terminator. Uh, I have never seen as many applications available in one place uh, as I have here in Deepen 1511. I'm really impressed. Catfish. Uh, KeyPassX, okay, KeyPassX, and probably KeyPassXC is here as well, if I had to guess. Um, VirtualBox 6.0 Manager, unbelievable. PR Sync, Gparted, um, Font Viewer. I just, I am overwhelmed. Here we go, KeyPassXC. This is nice, looking good. Under other, we've got Play on Linux, Sweet Home Sweet Home, Solarium, which is a astronomy program. I've used it before, I love it. Um, alarm Clock, uh, a few Chinese programs there. Sage Math, um, A Ruler. Unbelievable, guys. All right, so let's get out of this. Let me go ahead and close this. Right, and so. This is the music and movie, uh, the Google Chrome web browser and uh, control center. Let me look at that. We've got 1304, Sunday, December 1st. We've got some updates available. I'm not going to click on that yet. Cloud sync and accounts, display. If I click on display, we've got the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Look at all that we have to select from here. Very nice. Uh, and I didn't install VBox virtual. Guest editions, brightness we can control here, default applications we can control as well uh, as, you know, we can get into this and, and for our mail, 
for our web page for text for music it's deep in music for video it's deep in mu movie uh, deep in image viewer so they've got the deep in desktop environment uh, I grab that deep in terminal for all of this okay um, we've got here network settings default application we looked at for personalization we can change theme font window effect ESL VPN um, you name it here let's get back out here um, power management time and date so we can change time and date here we want to change it we can change our time zone time settings auto sync uh, power management we can, can we can change those settings here we can change whether passwords required once we come out of uh, screensaver or once the computer wakes up very nice uh, keyboard and language it looks like we've got set up here for English and American English system language. And here's the Deepin 15.11 desktop edition. Okay. For updating the system, we can click on that and uh, control that from within here. And then system information, uh, we can show the system information as well. Okay. So uh, here is the disk. Here is the current volume control. Here's the wired connection at 192.168.1.119. I can control the power here for shutting down the system, rebooting, suspending, locking, or logging out. Uh, here is the calendar. I'm going to bring that up. Okay. All right. And so let me do one last thing here. I'm going to open up the terminal, get in. Let me do a uname dash a and take a look at that. So we're running we're running Linux Deepin 1511 VM. Got the 4.19.0-30 Deepin generic uh, kernel that we're running here. All right, very nice. Let's do a DFH. You can see how our system is set up here. So default. And let's do HTOP. Take a look at HTOP. Looks like we're running 553 megs out of 4 gigs. 82 tasks, 500 and 258 threads, one running. Load averages look really good. Do an F10 and get out. All right, so let me go ahead and exit here. And so this has been a quick review of Deepin Desktop 1511. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Linux Unix Tech Channel, do that and click that bell off the right hand side. When you do, you'll be notified every time that uh, I upload a video. And so this has been the Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a nice rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.